Hello guys, it's Asmar Kevin here and today I'll be talking about the car hitboxes and my top 5 cars to use and why you should use them. I'll be going in depth for especially newer players, but I'm quite sure the mediocre Rocket League players can learn from this guide as well. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. What are the best cars in Rocket League? We'll be talking about Hybrid, Breakout, Dominus, Plank and Octane hitbox cars. Number 5. Hybrid. Hybrid has 3 cars. Endo, 99 Nissan Skyline, X-Devil. Number 5 Hybrid. Cars that fall in the Hybrid preset are seen throughout the community. This hitbox provides the least competitive edge. It is weak in 50-50s and bound dribbling due to its height in comparison to the Octane. This can attribute it to a hitbox height of 34.16 units which means 2 units less than the Octane and a width of 82.19 units which means 2.01 units less than the Octane. Similar to the Octane class, cars in the hybrid preset have a relatively difficult time at avoiding jumping demolitions. The car's lack of height in comparison to the Octane also makes it easier to get under the ball for flicks. Despite this however, there are simply much better presets for flicking such as the Dominus, Breakout or Plank. Perhaps the worst aspect of this preset however is that most battle cars that fall into this class have a poor model. Hitbox visual representation making it difficult for players to have true control over their touches. In all fairness to this preset it is definitely a hybrid of other classes and does have its occasional shining moments. Cars in this class such as the 99 Nissan Skyline GTR R34 do actually have relatively strong visual representations helping its cause in aerial play. For inexperienced players, this preset may act as a good middle ground hitbox to test your skills and find what you're good at. Number 4. Breakout 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 Type S Animus GP Just similar to the Octane and Dominus hitbox classes, the Breakout hitbox stays mostly true to its namesake, home to the Breakout, Breakout Type S, Animus GP and the Samurai. The breakout hitbox is a very unique one with some very interesting characteristics. In many ways the breakout hitbox is just a longer, narrower Dominus. A major benefit from flatter presets such as breakout along with the Dominus and plank is their ability to produce absurd flicks, a product of the length and lack of hive. The breakout is perhaps the most pertinent example of this notion as it's the longest hitbox at 131.49 units. Due to its similarities with the Dominus, the Breakout is also a very viable vehicle in the field of freestyling. Along with that, the Breakouts and to a certain extent the Type S have strong correlations between their hitboxes and visual representations, a quality perhaps not shared with the Animus GP and Samurai. By the way, the freestyling phenomenon Jazer used this car so long, believe me, he's a god in freestyling. Despite its qualities, just like the Dominus and Plank presets, the Breakout Hitbox class is lacking when it comes to 50-50s. It struggles from the same downfalls of the Dominus, with the Breakout Hitbox being one unit shorter than the height of the Dominus. Number 3. Dominus. Dominus GT Hotshot. Dominus is my personal favorite. Dominus is also a low profile, flat, long car capable of high latch reel, aerials and air dribbles. It's basically a big blocky powerhouse flying through the air smashing the ball wherever you see fit. On the ground, dribbling should be no issue as well, due to its lengthy nose. To me, aerials and dribblings feel much more natural compared to the Batmobile. On the other hand, the Batmobile is an alien looking car, so the brain definitely perceives something different from these two. It might just be due to individual experience, but the Dominus actually feels less handicapped in 50-50 situations. You will still regularly lose the duels with Octanes, but near misses should be less prevalent. Also, this car is quite tolerant of a bit rougher handling, so in those nerve-wracking moments when you are surviving the siege of your goal, you will be less prone to mechanical errors as well. The pedal-like frame of Dominus gives it a number of advantages as opposed to taller hitboxes such as the Octane. The shortness of the Dominus also allows for players to get under the ball with more ease to start dribbling plays or quickly whip out a flick to send the ball skyward. 
The shortness of the dominance along with its length makes its hitbox particularly strong at flicks. Number 2. Plank types Batmobile, Mantis, Paladin, Twin Mill, Sentio V17. Batmobile and the rest of the plank types are a flatter, longer variety of cars with superior power when hitting the ball. The increased length of these cars compensates for the lack of surface area and lower profile. This primarily relates to much easier air dribbling capabilities. While length certainly provides a competitive edge, these cars are at a disadvantage in a head-on collisions, the so-called 50-50 situations. Octane, which has a visibly higher profile than the Batmobile, can often win these smash-ups solely due to the bulkier hitbox and bigger surface area. Also, the Batmobile and the rest of the plank types are more prone to near misses and other errors. In the capable hands of masters like Cooksir 97, Snasky and so on, Batmobile is a weapon of mass destruction, however in the hands of less experienced players it can often become a source of frustration. Mastering these plank types requires time patience and dedication. Definitely avoid if you just want to get better in a little amount of time as possible. However, if Mantis or Sentio V17 find their way into your Rocket League garage, give them a few runs. You might end up pleasantly surprised with their power shots. Now, number 1. Octane Types Octane Octane ZSR Takumi Takumi RXT And last but not least, Fennec among the competitive crowd, Octane reigns supreme. There's an unofficial consensus that Octane is the best all-around car. Around 65% of all professional players exclusively use Octane for ladder play and in tournaments. Whether it's aerials, dribbles, powerful shots or something else, Octane and its creative variant Octane ZSR will serve you very well. Much of Octane's success is derived from the elusive feel of the car. The players who swear by it often state just how smooth natural and realistic it feels to handle Octane in all aspects of the game. A big factor that contributes to Octane's feel lies in its look. The way Octane looks corresponds to how it performs. This is something Takumi and its great version Takumi RXT lack. They have almost identical sets as Octane, but something about the way they look just doesn't relate that well to how they perform during games. Nevertheless, they are both equally as viable competitively. It will only take you a bit longer to get used to him. From 2020 they released the Fennec car, which is like the perfect car if you like Takumi and Octane, because it has exactly the same hitboxes and it's a super good car. Mechanically Octane type excels at aerial power shots, it's easy to control, the hitbox size is almost perfect, it hits hard and most importantly it provides a level of comfort and consistency required in the highest echelons of a competitive ecosystem. This is why 1v1 mode is literally an Octane Swamp. This is the car that you should go for once you're playing the game, but it's still a personal preference. I'll show you guys some hitbox visualizations. I'm not going to go in depth into the blueprints, but if you want to take a closer look to, the, to these blueprints, you'll find a link in my description area. So let's give you a short summary of this video. If you want to have a best all-round car in the game, you should go for the Octane or the Fennec just for dribbling and hitting power shots and easy aerial hits. If you want to be part of the freestyling community, you should go for a Plank, Dominus or Breakout hitbox car. These are the best cars for freestyling since they have a long nose and a flat car. But as you are aware of, there are plenty more cars in the game. There are like almost 40 if not more by the time you are watching in this game. So it's a personal preference but there's one big big tip I can give you. Once you've chosen a car, please stick with it. Use all your playing hours on the car that you're using right now. Because every car is different, every hitbox from these 5 cars or hitbox types are different. So if you invest 100 hours into an Octane car, don't swap to a plank car because they're different. You need a lot of hours to require the same muscle memory for that car. So please stick to your car. If you play bad, it's not because of the car, it's mostly because of you lacking the skill or you're getting run over by the enemies. Analyze your replays because you can do it. I believe in you.
all right guys that's it for this video right now if you like this video so much please show me in the comment section what you liked about this video go hit the like button if you like this video go hit the subscribe button if you want to see more rocket league videos posted by me i'll be also playing let's play games like the tomb raider series a lot of other games are going to be joining in as well so it's a variety channel for you guys um, it would be amazing if you guys were able to help me out this much all right that's more gang thank you very much for watching i will see you guys in the next video